Hello North Carpologists, I'm Joe and today we're going to be taking a look at Carp Spirit's five season sleeping bag. It's very warm. Now, apologies for the rather muffled intro, but I am very, very snug in here right now. And this is the Magnum five season sleeping bag from Carp Spirit. Now, as I'm in it already, I might as well tell you some of the features on the inside of this thing, which is keeping me so warm. Dual layers to start with. You've got the uh, top layer that obviously you can see at the moment. And then inside there's a detachable layer, which makes it uh, all the more warmer in this time of year. It's very windy today. It's not the coldest, it's probably eight degrees, but the wind is pretty chilly. And in here, honestly, I'm starting to sweat with my clothes on. So. Uh, I'll be quick, but also another feature of down here is you've got the fleece lining from uh, about 50% down, so about where my bum is, it transitions from a micro fleece upper down to a ripstop polyester lower from about my waist downwards. So as you can see, my feet are flying around absolutely no issues, and that's because it's nice and slippery with the uh, polyester. So there's no chance of getting hung up, your feet getting stuck down there, but uh, the top part is instantly warm with all the fleece. And another thing to keep my feet warm and still moving around down there is that you've got a zip on the sides. The zips go down three quarters of the way, so not all the way down to your feet. So it gives you a little pocket of warmth just for your feet while you're down there. Now, I'm gonna open this up so I can breathe and actually let some of the heat out, because I get rather warm in here. Now, as I just mentioned, there are two separate layers to this sleeping bag top system. Obviously, you've got the, uh, the main bit that stays on all year round. You can't take that off. But to change uh, when it's getting really cold in the winter, you can add a layer or it's starting to get warmer in the summer, take a layer off. Under this baffle here, which is a uh, wind baffle, you can see there's another zip. So nice and discreet, tucked away. It's never going to get caught on anything, so it's not like you've got cumbersome two layers of zips on the outside. It's tucked away nice and neatly in here. You unzip that down three quarters of the way, about where the zip ends on the outside of the bag as well. And then you've got three tabs at the end that you uh, have to detach the bag. Very easy to do. It means that they're completely tucked out of the way. My feet aren't catching on them at all at the moment. And you can just take that layer in and out very easily. Now, to keep the warmth in even more, you've got wind baffles on the outside of the bag, covering the front zip. On the inside, you've got another baffle, which is uh, filled with some filling, so that it keeps another pocket of warmth in there for you. And on the top layer, so all these layers, you've got another baffle around the neckline, which just stops any kind of drafts getting in from your neck and shoulders down. And talking of shoulders down, as you see, you've got this half moon shaped sort of top section. So these bits, which are cut out for your neckline, your head means that you can still be in the bag, but have these around your shoulders. So you can still breathe perfectly fine. You're, uh, you're not getting muffled because when you're under like this, although it can keep your face warm, you'll find that you're starting to get condensation on there, getting a bit wet and not as comfortable to breathe. So that just cups you around your uh, neckline like that. And you can either tuck that under your shoulders like so, and that just stops any kind of uh, drafts or breezes getting down and cutting out the warmth. Because once you're warm in here, you don't want to let that heat out. And if I turn around, as you can see, it's still got the half moon shape at the top. Drawstring to uh, tighten this down if you like. So I've just uh, put their half moon pillow in there at the moment. It fits in perfectly because everyone uses square pillows normally when they take them with this, but it fits the shape of the bag. So as you see, that tucks in. If I pull it out, here is the pillow, which you can get from Carp Spirit as well. Also has a few good features to pick up on is you've got a, a micro fleece lining for the cooler months and a cool peach skin fabric for the warmer months. So an all year round pillow, if it gets grubby, simply unzip it, take the uh, filling out and then wash the uh, outer skin. Now the outside material is a ripstop polyester, which is water resistant. Now, I wouldn't recommend you slept outside in this, but if it was a bit of a damp dewy morning in the summer or something like that, then it will keep you uh, dry on the inside. Now keeping you warm is a silicon treated hollow fill fiber. Now that just increases the longevity of the filling and also cuts, cuts down on the weight. So although this is a five season bag, it really doesn't weigh that much. And that's thanks to the filling that is used on the inside. And now I'm here, I can show you a bit more what I meant about the uh, inside with the lining change. As you can see, you've got the fleece here and the polyester here. So nice and warm, uh, still warm, and got the padding and filling and all sorts, but it just stops you from uh, getting all tangled up inside. Zips, you've got large 10 millimeter crash zips with a uh, heavy duty material either side of the zip, so it doesn't get snagged up on any of the internal material or the outside material. So you can fly in and out of this, no issues, which you can, you can see from the demonstration. And you've got these baffles in here, which I've mentioned before, just keeping all that wind out, keeping you nice and warm. 
Now a couple of little features on the side, which is a nice little uh, touch from Carp Spirit, is where it says the name Magnum 5 Season on either side. As you can see, it's a different colour to everything else, and that's not just so you can read it, but they've got another use as well. They are reflective uh, coating, so if you're out in a boat, this is the main reason. I, I talking to uh, the creators of this bed at the Zwolle Carp Show, and going through all these little features, little touches that just make this bit more of a, a step up from other five season bags on the market because it's got those little features to make life easier now those those strips although that text is reflective so when you're out at night with the and in the boat is what he was saying to me is if you're shining back into your swim that is what's going to get picked up from your uh, your head torch so it's great if you're out in the boat don't know where you are you just want to see exactly where you need to be holding back in especially if you've gone out a long way playing a fish shine your head torch that shines up and it's a beacon which uh, makes it dead easy for you to know where you're going back to without having to leave a light on in your swim because if you're rushing out in the middle of the night don't have time to put the bivy light on or whatever but your door is open that is going to be very very handy when you're trying to find out where your swim is attaching it to the uh, bed chair itself in the middle you've got a fully adjustable clip strap so you just wrap that around pull it tight and that's also got a couple of uh, little things to pick up on as well is whereas a lot of these straps are attached directly to the zip as soon as you pull that tight it pulls the zip round and you can get the zip a bit snagged a bit stuck in that area but it's been stitched probably a couple of inches stitching of like a, a pad or a square that's been stitched straight onto the bag so all the tension from that strap is actually coming a good couple of inches away from the zip so you can pull that nice and tight and still have full use of the zip without it getting all snagged up the bottom end just loops over with a uh, an adjustable uh, sort of hood on it so you pull that cord down and it just secures on the top end the, on the leg end sorry and on the top end again wrap it around the top but a bit different in that you've got these velcro uh, retaining straps sort of things which go around the top leg so it stops it from sliding up pulls it nice in position you can uh, have that as tight or as loose as you like so give it a bit of movement and then you've got the draw cord at the top here for the pillow so you just pull that tight and it makes everything nice and secure so if you didn't want the pillow in there you just wanted to have your head in there you can pull that tight and it will slowly shrink in around your head again just keeping you really nice and warm in there and lastly on either side you've got zipped mesh pockets perfect for your phone receiver keys any valuables like that that you don't want knocking about in the bivy stick them in there and uh, you know you're not going to lose them throughout your session and all this gets supplied in a retractable stuff sack so it's got all those straps that you can pull tight pack this down nice and small for when you're not using it or just keeping it in storage and there you go the magnum five season sleeping bag from carp spirit and the prices are as follows the standard comes in at 159.99 rp and the extra large comes in at 169.99 rp which i think for all the features you're getting the warmth that this offers in quite a lightweight package and how versatile it is with changing the uh, properties of the warmth throughout the year that is a very good price so for more information please head over to the carp spirit website cheers for watching and i'll see you again soon